<laughs> Not gonna do that to you again, don't worry. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, I hope you're having a fabulous day and if you're not already, I hope that changes right now. I'm coming at you with a pretty interesting video, I think. Um, something that I really wanted to make sure I put out as soon as possible because I think it's just so important. And also because I'm almost done with treatment. So, um, this is my come to chemo with me. Chemo is short for chemotherapy. And I'm just going to hit you with a quick definition of like what chemotherapy is. So, um, the treatment of disease by the use of chemical substances, especially the treatment of cancer by cytoxic and other drugs. So, basically, since I was diagnosed, I have been getting chemotherapy treatment. And they basically are putting chemical substances straight into my veins to kill off cancer cells. But the thing is that it also damages and kills off other healthy cells. So that's why you lose your hair. Um, that's why I feel like crap. And um, obviously putting toxins and chemical substances into your body is not something that is good for you. So um, my hope for the future is that there are newer methods to treating cancer um, and equally as effective methods as well. So this video is basically me trying to put out some awareness, um, letting you know what's going on because this is also something that is extremely misunderstood. So you'll obviously see how chemo goes for me. Um, I feel like I'm almost kind of lucky in some senses because mine's relatively quick. Some people stay in the hospital for days, weeks, months at a time. Some people take it in different forms. Some people are attached to an IV for a super long time. And um, I'm not trying to spoil it, but you'll see how mine goes very soon if you keep watching. Yeah, so there's obviously a big misunderstanding. Cancer um, used to be thought of as like, oh, the C word. But really now, especially for pediatric patients, we should not be putting chemicals into our body. People should know what's going on. People should understand what's going on because that'll just get us closer to um, a solution. Just happier, better children who um, don't have to go through what I've gone through and what many other kids have gone through. So, let's um, hope that this is some sort of first step in that right direction, and um, I hope you can learn something today. So without further ado, this is my come to chemo with me. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Off we go. Uh-huh. The long drive. So, <laughs> we're on our way <laughs> to the hospital. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired too. Let's see. What did I do this morning? I woke up. I got dressed. <laughs> and then I took some anti-nausea meds. And then I put a thing on my port so it's numb before they access it. So I'll show you that. But I'm not taking off my coat right now. And then we're going to go to the hospital. I'm meeting with my surgeon and my oncologist and my nurse practitioner and my other nurses and everything and <laughs> okay see you at the hospital ladies and gents i don't know how to turn this off bye time for chemo huh? <laughs> BRB. Oh, actually, this is my port with its numbing cream on, so it doesn't hurt when they have to access it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so basically what's going to happen next is the nurse is gonna come in, they're gonna clean off this, and then they're gonna access it, take blood, 
and I'll show you that. And then once they get those blood tests back and it's like all clear and stuff, then I can get chemo. And in there, I'm gonna like meet with my doctors. So They're gonna make sure I'm all good and like okay. And yeah. Yeah. Let me give you a mask first. Oh, sure. Stop. Safety first. <laughs> This is my nurse, Sarah, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I don't know, I feel like you'd be better at explaining. Okay. okay. So, to give chemo, first thing we have to do is access Olivia's port. Um, the reason we have to use a port is because the medicines are really hard on your veins. So, if you put it in the wrong spot or if the IV needle gets moved even a little bit in your arm, it can cause burns and stuff like that. So, it's a lot better and easier if we put it in a really big vein in your chest so it goes up into your neck, hence the port. So Miss Olivia was lovely and came with her numbing cream. Um, so she should not feel the poke of the needle, just like the pressure of my fingers and of pushing it in. So I'm just gonna wipe that off first. Right, so the port is a little round disc. It has a metal back and a rubber top and then there's like an IV catheter that comes up from the top of it going into the vein. So what I'm gonna do, essentially, is just put the needle right in the middle of that rubber top. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is clean it. Um, everybody has to wear masks so that we don't get nasty germs in it. Um, but yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is clean. I hope my camera doesn't die. <laughs> All right, so I'm letting that dry. I'm gonna put together my setup here. So this is what the needle looks like. Um, with our little kids, we call it a butterfly, which is deceptive. It has nice wings, but it's sharp. Hmm. Um, so I'm getting all my stuff set up here to put the needle in and then um, draw some labs. Sure, just do it. Just do it. Okay. Yeah. Can you set it for me? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, hold on. I don't know how much of that you could see because my hand wasn't in the way. So the good thing about the port is it's just one poke that then we can draw lab, we can give medicine. Here's like a close up of what it looks like. This like doesn't want to stick. But yeah, so now it's accessed. And she just put in like saline. And then my blood came out because she has to run labs on it. And then they, she put in like heparin, which is which just like kind of. I don't know what it does. <laughs> I just know they put it in. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, chemo's next. Stay tuned. So, <coughs> we just met with my oncologist and my nurse practitioner, and now I'm waiting for chemo, and I'm gonna have some animal crackers. So, Dad, how are you feeling right now? Like a champ. Yeah? Having 10 grams while we wait. <laughs> Uh, yes, because this red one can cause mouth sores, but um, we call it cryotherapy. Putting something cold on the inside of your mouth can help prevent those. So, fun fact. So we can give chemotherapy a lot of different ways. You can actually do it as a pill, as a shot into a muscle or under the skin. Um, or through your IV. So Olivia is gonna get two meds today that go in your IV. I think when most people think about chemo, they think of someone hooked up for like the whole day, which you can be, we have chemos that do that. Um, but these two are actually really anticlimactic. They're just little in a syringe that I'm just gonna push. Um, chemo is also like a blanket term that refers to like a ton of different medicines. So that's why you can give chemo all the different ways and stuff like that. 
All right, so that was Zofrin first. Can you taste the same? A little bit. I'm sorry. It's not that exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first one is called Vin Christine. Actually, I think one of the most common like chartered cancer chemos. That was it. So this is Doxorubus, and this is like one kid called it the Red Devil. And this one has a lot of unpleasant side effects. That's it, folks. That's chemo. For me, at least. Okay, so that was chemo, and yeah, usually it'll it'll kick in like within a couple hours, and I'll start just to get like tired. But I got I took some anti nausea meds, so I won't be too nauseous because that's like the main side effect that I'm gonna feel. But. Usually I can control it with the meds that I get. And then now we're gonna get something to eat because I like, I don't know, I feel like eating and pretty much whenever I feel like eating, I should eat. So yeah, and then we're gonna go home and I'm probably gonna lay in my bed and watch some Netflix, so. Hi guys. So I just wanted to give you like an update on like how I feel at the moment. So I got chemo. Um, I got chemo around 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. And um, then I ate something, I got home. And then I was like, just gonna, I'm just gonna go upstairs and like sleep because I was really tired. My chemo was like kind of starting to kick in. So now it's about 8 p.m. and I just took some more anti-nausea meds because usually like my chemo makes you super like nauseous and stuff so um my medicines usually keep that under control which is really good and then yeah so I've just like been sleeping and um I'm probably gonna just go back to sleep after I take this clip um but yeah so the reason that I'm like tired is because my body's kind of like going through a lot at the moment um, because basically chemo is like it's attacking any cancer cells that that are in my body but along with that it's attacking healthy cells so um, that's why you lose your hair and that's why like you're immunocompromised and that's why like you can get sick easily and you don't feel too great because your body's just like trying to deal with everything and compensate for everything so so yeah that's like a brief example of um what's going on right now um yeah i probably will just see you in the morning because i'm really freaking tired so See you later, ladies and gents. Okay, hi guys. So, um, it's currently 10.37 in the morning. I like woke up around like 8.30ish and I've just been like watching YouTube and stuff. And then I was kind of hungry. So my mom made me like, an egg and toast and stuff, so I eat that, which is good. I'm like not nauseous. I took my meds again. And yeah, I've just been watching YouTube. And I'm tired. So I think I'm just gonna, probably just gonna go back to sleep right now. But yeah, so. There's not really going to be much interesting footage today, I don't think. 
probably just gonna keep like updating you on like how I'm feeling throughout the day. Uh, I don't know, nothing too crazy. Um, I've been drinking some, this is like cranberry juice with Miralax in it because my, um, my chemo can make you constipated. So, and when that happens, it's like really uncomfortable and annoying and kind of painful. So, that's what's up, ladies and gents. I might try to like take a shower. I brushed my teeth. <laughs> I will update you if anything interesting happens or the next time. I feel like I should tell you how I'm feeling. So, based off of like the first time I got chemo and when I hadn't figured out like which nausea medicines worked for me, like usually the second day after chemo was like pretty bad or like the day after chemo was like pretty bad and I was like nauseous and tired and like it was just pretty much miserable. I'm actually like feeling pretty good considering like what my body's going through right now. Um, I'm just like tired but not nauseous so not too shabby. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I will be back later. <laughs> Robbie's here. Uh, hey! <laughs> I don't want to be in any of your videos. Shut up, Ava. <laughs> Ava's camera shy. <laughs> So I thought I'd give you a little update on uh, how we're feeling. So it's about 6.20 and the reason I haven't like updated you at all today is because I haven't done anything. <laughs> um, I've been sitting on the couch watching uh, New Girl on Netflix and I've been chilling with my homies. <laughs> <laughs> Someday she'll reveal herself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just been kind of chilling. I actually, I don't feel bad, really. I'm just like super tired. But my nausea is under control. <laughs> so yeah. Fruit strips are really good. Ava likes fruit strips. <laughs> so, um, good for her. <laughs> Yeah, I would say I just kind of feel like weird right now. Like I don't really feel like myself. I feel like I'm kind of like acting weird or whatever, but I don't know. That's that's medication for ya. <laughs> so. Relatable. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I probably won't update you guys again today. It'll probably be tomorrow morning. Hopefully I start feeling a little bit better. I, I, I kind of just feel like I'm in a funk today. So I've just been kind of like chilling and trying to get over that. But hopefully tomorrow's better. So yeah, see you tomorrow dudes. Okay, so I lied. <laughs> I'm coming at you with one more clip for tonight. It's about 9.30 now and I'm going to go to bed. I think tomorrow I'm going to try and get out of the house um, and try and like just, I don't know, get some fresh air or something um, and try and like make myself feel better. I don't really know. Um, a new little side effect that's coming up is dry mouth, which I've been, like I've been getting kind of every time I get chemo, so I have a, spe a special mouthwash that I take or use, which is good, and I'm like drinking a bunch of water, but it's really annoying. So if I'm like licking my lips a lot or something or whatever, that would be why. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> I'm so tired. Good morning guys, so it's about 10.15 right now, 
it's Sunday I got chemo on Friday and um, I got up like about an hour and a half ago and then I was just kind of on my phone and then I took a shower and kind of got ready but today I'm like kind of still feeling funky and like not myself I'm kind of like anxious and paranoid and like stressed out about things that I shouldn't be stressed about so I'm just gonna try and get out of the house today even though it's really snowy um, I think I'm gonna get my nails done with my mom because they're kind of growing out and um, yeah I'm gonna try and like get some coffee in my system and like I don't know some food and just try and do normal things as much as possible I have to write the ACT on Wednesday so I should probably try and do some um, practice for that and try and do some other homework if I can the nice thing is tomorrow I have the day off so I still have tomorrow because it's President's Day but yeah I just I don't like feeling like this so I'm gonna try and do as many normal tasks as possible today yeah I don't know I just I don't like feeling like this so um, I something to note though I feel like this is the fastest I've kind of been able to get out of bed and like start doing normal things as much as possible again like I feel like this is the fastest I've kind of bounced back after chemo even though I'm not a hundred percent so that's good uh, but yeah I just feel weird and I want to do normal things today and just try and get out of bed and I don't know try and get back to being myself so yeah I will see you later then all right guys so basically after the last clip um, I just started progressing and feeling better and that's normally how my chemo treatments go so I really hope that you were able to learn something in this video I hope that it maybe opened your eyes to a little bit of what I kind of go through as I mentioned this was kind of one of the better ones for me there have definitely been times where I've just been completely nauseous totally knocked out like zero energy puking all the time and that was definitely towards the front end of my uh, cancer treatment just because it takes a while to kind of understand which medicines are going to work for you and make you feel better while you're going through this sort of terrible time in your treatment. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense. Thank you so much my nurse Sarah for explaining everything and for even making me learn a couple new facts while I was sitting there receiving treatment. So. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I will see you guys very soon. I have some really good videos planned, and hopefully it won't take me as long as it has um, to upload again. Um, I've just been kind of a busy gal, so. So yes, uh, don't forget to make someone smile today. Even if you already have, make someone smile again. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for supporting me. Much more to come. Stay tuned. Bye. You would not believe your eyes if 10 million fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep.